Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this six option infographic slide in PowerPoint. It will show you six option, three at each side. And at the end, it will show you some more animation, something like this. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes and select oval shape. Make the height and width of the oval shape as 2.25 inches and then align it center and middle. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate of this and make the height as 3.15 inches and width also the same and outline make as a black and shape fill make it no fill and this also you align it center and align it middle go to insert again shapes and select a hollow circle make it no outline add one more oval shape and bring, the, bring this inside of the hollow circle. You can select both the options and then say align center and align middle. Group the objects, make it no outline. You can group it, right mouse click group or you can say control G. Reduce the size and bring it here. You can press Ctrl D, bring the other side. Press Ctrl D again to make it on one on top and one at the bottom. The other side of top and two at the bottom. So total is six. I'm going to do the background of the slide, give it a yellow color and I'm going to insert one more oval shape which, is, which will be the biggest size. No problem it goes uh, beyond the slide, align it middle and center and give some dark color. and send to back and for this you can select a yellow line the border and the inner circle will be a black without outline and this blue small circles should also be filled with yellow Go to insert shapes and select rounded corner rectangle, draw the rectangle, make it somewhat curved, reduce the size make it no outline and you can give the same the dark black color. I'm going to use some gradient for this. And give some shadow effect. You can increase the distance. Press Ctrl D. We need to make six objects. And one more at the bottom. 
now i'm going to copy all these three to the other side press ctrl d and bring it the other side no need to group it by mistake i mistakenly i group it and i'm just going to change the gradient effect and using the format painter you can just copy the same effect I'm just going to copy this one at the beginning of the rectangle Make sure that the objects are aligned properly. And I'm going to insert shapes and select a line. Now connect the these two circles and make this also a yellow line and press control D and then connect to each one of this you need to repeat this till you get the lines connected to each other All the lines are connected now. We can go to shapes, add lines one more time, and just draw a small line and place it here. And press Ctrl D, you can place it on all the rectangles. And then I'm going to copy the icons which I have downloaded from the nonproject.com. So just bring the icons here at the end of the rectangle. And this, uh, my old PowerPoint slide, I'm just going to copy the map. And this slide is already available in the YouTube, uh, my channel. I've just changed the color to somewhat black and make it, making it more transparent and send to back. add some the numbers now it will be option 0 1 2 3 
For this, I'm going to use a font called Oswald. Make it bold and make it yellow color. And place it at the, the top corner of the rectangle. And change the numbers two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to add the title here. Now it's time to add some description. So just copy and the description or you can type your own description there. So the description is copied now and I'm going to select these objects without the circle and I'm going to group it press ctrl G make sure that you're not going to select the, the smaller yellow circle Now select all the rectangles and send it to back. Now it's time to add some animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane, select the smaller circle and just say fly in. Go to the properties. and timing make it very fast with 0.3 seconds for the line i am going to use a wipe effect and for this smaller circle i am just going to use a basic zoom and options you make it from out and this one I'm going to use a wipe effect make it from left now all these three animations I'm going to make it after previous and select these three right mouse click go to effect options and timing make it 0.3 seconds so it's all 0.3 seconds very fast so if you see here when I click it will come immediately now similarly I'm going to select this one go to animation painter and paint it to the second one the line select the line animation painter click the second line then the make you can make it from left then the, select this circle animation painter and the last one is the rectangle I'm just going to copy the same thing so whichever object you need to do animation select that one and click on animation painter and similarly do for three four four five and six now I've added all the animations there 
if you want you can make it or I can make this three four five and six to be after previous instead of on click so if you see here when I click option one two three four five and six that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe to our point university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye